sorry if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle hi I hope everybody is okay my name is uh, Rebecca please subscribe to my uh, travel and lifestyle channel um, today I'm going to be doing a budget travel uh, special five exciting facts January 2022 part three and this is uh, from where or we are global travelers.com uh, where I'm getting the information from and uh, number one is choose your destination carefully I have said it in many other videos some uh, places are naturally more expensive or cheaper than where you call home um, my first uh, tip for traveling on a budget is to research places uh, that are good for traveling on a budget maybe it's somewhere that's cheap and easy to get to or somewhere where the currency and um, is good value because the exchange rate is a lower cost of living than at home um, again makes sense and um, number two avoid tourist traps big cities and tourist hotspots are often a lot more expensive than straying off the street at beaten uh, track and try to choose less well-known destinations if you can even with your destination avoid restaurants on the main strip and try something down a sidewalk or a side street um, the food will be probably better and it's also cheaper as well and uh, number three uh, get travel insurance I know it's an extra expense uh, which I've also said um, in other videos but uh, you will thank yourself for sorting it out um, if your trip gets cancelled or even worse if you get ill abroad and number four or in less touristy destinations be spontaneous if you're traveling to less touristy destinations you may be able to save some money by booking directly with the owner especially for places in small towns or in homestays it really depends on where you are going so again it pays to do your research beforehand on uh, your accommodation options number five um, last but not least DIY excursions you can often save a lot of money by skipping out on a plan tour and working it out for yourself uh, use public transport to get there take a picnic and buy your own entry ticket if needed for example a trip um, to the Blue Mountains in Australia for example um, a tour will cost you at least in a group over or at least a hundred Australian dollars per person but at my return train ticket was just twelve dollars the only other expense that was um, paid for was a packed lunch and uh, took with me and also we brought a coffee and room A brand new fact um, is again that if you do the DIY yourself then um, it will cost you less than paying for uh, tourist pa packages in advance and um, also save you money while, uh, while uh, you're there at the tourist attraction as well because uh, that can be expensive um, 
at a tourist attractions, cafe, restaurants, etc. And again, it's a lot cheaper to bring a, a packed lunch. I would like to say um, thank you for watching and I hope everybody is okay. And um, I'll see you tomorrow uh, for my improvements, updates and more video. I would like to say have a day have a nice day and night wherever you are in the world and thank you and bye for now thank you bye